Pineapples don't go on pizza, I'm sorry. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel if you are new. Welcome, and if you're a return watcher, you can see that I like switched up my background a little bit just to add some like, you know, something different to my channel. And this whole video is something different. It's actually going to be a Q&A video. So my good friend, Jessica Milani, who is also a YouTuber, she came up with a really cute idea where um, we ask each other questions and then we post our answers to those questions on our channel. So I sent her some questions, she's going to give her answers on her channel and then I'm giving my answers to her questions on my channel. So after this video, make sure to head over to her page. I'll put the link for her channel down in my description box below. And yeah, make sure to check her video out right after mine. So um, before we get into this, make sure you guys subscribe, like, comment, let me know what other kind of videos or content you want me to bring to my channel, and let's start the questionnaire. So I don't know what kind of question she's going to be asking, so I have a little bit of iced tea. Um, so let's get right to it. Okay, first question. What is the first thing that you notice about a person? Definitely their teeth. Like that's the first thing. Um, and it's so bad sometimes because there's a lot of people out here who do not have nice teeth. Like, and if you don't, like, you know, it's okay. Go ahead. You can get them done. But that's the first thing I notice. It's either it's like, um, like your face, like skin, or like your eyes and teeth. If you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Um, that would definitely be oxtail and rice and peas. I love me some oxtail. What's the number one thing that you would save if your house was burning down? I would definitely save um, my Brinks security box because it has all my documents in it. Um, yeah, that has like everything. My whole life is in that box, so that's, the, that's what I'm saving. What makes you laugh the most? So for everyone who knows me, I laugh at everything, like, I laugh. <laughs> See? Um, okay, so the funniest thing would be, I'm a very observant, right? So, like, you ever saw someone do something awkward, but then they tried to, like, keep it on the hush because they don't want to be embarrassed, but, like, you peeped it? So like I always peep stuff and like I die laughing but then like I'm laughing to myself because I don't want to out them and be like yo they just they just did that but like you know I laugh to myself and I let them rock so that's one thing that always makes me laugh um I would say just funny people funny people in general like especially if like they're not even trying to be funny like just their mannerisms and like just the way they talk and any anything makes me laugh, the type of shit of anything. Are you a clean or you're a messy person? I'm more on the clean side, you know. I'm more on the clean side. Especially now that I have my own place. Yeah, definitely on the clean side. If you had to describe yourself in five words, what would it be? Five words. Mm, I would say intelligent. Like you know, I know how to use my common sense. Not a lot of people know how to do that. Um, straightforward which is sometimes not the best thing, but in the long run, it's, you know, it's good. Um, loyal, you know, all my day one friends are still my day one friends from like third grade. Um, I'm a free spirit. Um, what else, what else? I think I'm a loving person, I would think so, right? I'm definitely optimistic. I'm always looking on the brighter side. Like, it may be rough today, but everything has a purpose. Everything has its time, and you will get there. You will get there. It's gotta push through. Okay, so next question. What would be the first thing you would do if you won the lottery today? First thing I would do if I won the lottery, pay off my debt. Okay, let them shackles off. Get them off me off every day okay and then peace like you won't see me again after that I'll probably be like on a remote island somewhere Bora Bora or something what have you learned from your past relationships um, I'm 
red flags are red flags for a reason, so pay attention to them and nip it in the butt. Yeah, that's it, that's all I gotta say. <laughs> What's the most useless thing you've ever bought? The most useless thing I ever bought. See, like, what's in here? Um, I, I use everything in here. Um, I'll probably have to say, like, a lot of hair care products or even skincare products. Like, I'll use it once or probably, like, for a week and I'm not seeing results and I'm just like, it just stays there and, like, just builds dust. <laughs> What's the one thing that someone would never know just by looking at you? That I can really dance. Every time I dance around people, they're always like, oh my God, where did you learn how to move like that? And I'm just like. <laughs> What's the best piece of topping combination? Um, I can't even eat pizza anymore, you guys, so. So I developed a dairy allergy, so I just, I can't even eat pizza anymore. But when I did eat pizza, um, I would always get pepperoni. Just keep it simple. Like, y'all y'all want too much stuff, just keep it simple, and that's it. I'll maybe add like some red onions on there, you know, spice it up a little bit. But other than that, keep it simple. What's the slang or trend that makes you feel super old? Oh my god. Um, do y'all remember Gimme Mine? I think that was like middle school. I think that was middle school. Oh my god, I hated, I hated that. Like that, the people annoyed the crap out of me with Gimme Mine. What do you like to do when you're not working? Sleep. What's the most ridiculous thing you've ever said out loud? I probably say so much stuff, so much dumb stuff. Okay, so everything I say, I probably pronounce it wrong, but I say it with so much confidence, so it sounds ridiculous. So, <laughs> like, it could be, I don't, I can't even think of it right now, but I mispronounce so much words, and people, like, they, they know, they, they know me, so they're just like, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but I'm so confident with it, like, and I just keep going. Do you like to cook? If so, what? Um, I do like to cook. Ever since I moved into my place, like you know, I gotta start cooking now. But before I moved in, I lived with my mom and she would do most of the cooking and I would cook with her like sometimes, but I picked up some really good recipes and I'd be killing it in the kitchen. And my favorite thing to make, uh, I would say maybe like honey teriyaki codfish with some sweet peppers, onions, garlic, and oxtail, period. I make some good oxtail. I make some good oxtail. What's the best comedy movie you've ever seen? Um, I don't know, I don't know I can't think right now. Uh, the best comedy movie, I don't know, all right, let me look up some comedy movies because I can't, I can't think of any right now. Scary Movie 2, oh my gosh, with the, the hand. Um, American Pie, Date Night with Steve Carell and Tina Fey. Um, yeah, I can't, I can't, I don't know why I can't think of any right now, but yeah. What's the worst topping you could put on pizza? Like, absolutely disgusting. Pineapples. Pineapples don't go on pizza, I'm sorry. Yeah, so that's it, that's the end of it. Um, I don't know, this was kind of fun. I was a little nervous. I hope I don't seem awkward. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video and got like, you know, kind of an insight of me and who I am as a person. Um, I would love to continue to do more of these videos. Just let me know and I'll definitely add some of that content to my page in the future. So thank you for watching and I will see you in my next upload.